Hi, it's Stu here from DIYmusic.co.uk with FL Studio Quick Tip number nine. I'm going to show you something called Ghost Channels, which is a really useful feature in FL Studio. This is great when you're uh, writing some music which has more than one instrument, but they're playing chords together. So here I've got a, uh, you can see there's some notes being on, played on three different instruments. And uh, if I go into one, I can change it. But if I want to change all those instruments from one piano roll, FL lets me do that. Up here, go to Helpers and turn on Ghost Channels to start with. And now I can see the other two instruments. Then if I go to Helpers again and turn on Editable Ghosts, I can actually move those. which is really useful if you've uh, sort of worked on something and you want to just change a chord. Done like that, let's change it to an A minor. Ah, it's already any A minor. Let's, uh, let's try a different chord. G. And it's as easy as that to just change three different instruments from one piano roll or more, depending how many you've got playing. And if you do want to go in and edit one of these notes in its own piano roll, then you can double right click to jump to its piano roll. There you go. So here you can see it's changed to the other instrument. If I want to go back to the saw, double right click and I'm there. Or this one, if I wanted to do some volume changes or something like that, I might sort of jump to a different instrument or whatever. So that's just really useful if you're using more than one instrument, but you can't be bothered to sort of close it, go to the piano roll, change a note, close it, go to piano roll, change a note. Just uh, go to your menu helpers, ghost channels, and editable ghosts. And that'll let you change everything from one piano roll. So that has been today's FL Studio quick tip from diymusic.co.uk. Uh, please like it, share it, and check out the website and come back to me with any comments you might have. Look out for the next one. Cheers.